blind farmer. I'm here on my farm today in Southern Virginia, and I've been here about a year, and we have 65 acres, and I'm beginning to uh, raise some animals and also put a garden in. My objective is to show you how a blind person can do just about anything they try to do. And here are some of my rabbit hutches that I have built. Right now I have four does and two bucks. And over here is my chicken house, which I built most of my chicken house by myself and put the fence up around the chicken house. There's Rhode Island Reds in there. And we're going to take you over today and show you how I would put together another rabbit hutch. So hold on, we'll be right back. Go. Well, hi, we're back now. I'm in my barn. My son has cut me out some pieces of wood, so I'm getting ready to build the bottom to the rabbit cage. And I have to I get down right on the ground with, with my pieces so I know exactly what I'm doing. So the way I normally do it is I get my screws ready and I'll turn this part down and I'll drive a couple of screws through. And I ain't the one really good all the time about getting them straight, but they work. So a blind person could do anything. I've been very lucky. I had two buddies who helped taught me a lot construction wise. And my son has been fantastic. He's way better than I ever was at anything. So it's been really good to get things cut like this and ready to get set up to start building. So I'm going to go away for a few seconds. I'll get a few nails, screws in, and then we'll go from there. Hi, I've already uh, put the middle board in and I've screwed it on the other side, but I want to show you a little bit about how I measure things up to get to even. I'm do, I do an approximate type thing. So I got the hammer to there. I got this to there. I, to me, I'm really close. Close enough that nobody will complain. How's that? So when I get ready to drill, I take my screw and I place it in the center. I come up, I drag it up, drag it over, and now I'm ready to screw it in. And hopefully, I've made a good angle. And yep, I'm getting a good angle. Very happy about that. Okay, so there's one in. So we're back. So now I'm gonna put a leg on this side and I've got to measure so that inside I have 24 inches up here because the cage is 24 by 24 by 48. So you can see I have the old style paper tape that's in braille. So I'm trying to get as close to two feet as I can and I'm going to say a little more nothing I build is perfectly square I want to tell you that right now but it's uh, it, it handles everything come on he's growing on me to pull it tight and that's going to be really really almost a little too much it takes time with me guys there's always more time for me doing it by myself than it is for you doing it but I get it done I got time to use these days I'm going to go with that right there. Now the whole thing is keep it still so I can get a screw in. Don't fall off on me, sweetie. Just stay right where you are. Okay. That's a good. Come 
Okay, I gotta stop for a second. I have lost my bit. So I gotta get down the floor and find my bit. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I got down on the floor, feel on the floor, found it. Now we're gonna drive these in. So I'm gonna drill that first one in, and then I'm going to take my tape and just double check. It's always better for me to double check because if you don't double check, and then you put it all together, it's called take it apart. And I hate taking things apart. Two foot. I am awful close. Awful, awful close. Square it up on here. Okay. Ever since I got my first hammer drill like this, I absolutely will not build something without one makes your life a lot simpler. I'm over here measuring now, make sure I'm good and square up, drilling in my board in a good spot. There it is. Lift it up. And we're in. Okay, so I got the first one on, so I'm gonna go to the second one. I'll be back in a little while. Okay, we're back. You see I've got all four of my legs on. It ain't the uh, most square, but it's gonna be sitting on the ground and um, I can make it work. So now I'm putting these pieces on the side like this so my wire can be stapled on the inside here to this. So they're just scrap pieces of wood we've gotten going here. And um, I'm gonna get this one screwed in real fast. Three screws. Yo, hold on. Okay, we're gonna do it the good way. On the floor, put the screw in. And screw it into the floor guy. Get it up here okay. It don't have to be pretty, it just has, has to be usable to hold the wire. Come on, come on. This is where I wish I had another hand. Okay, that's one. Okay, so here we go. I whistle while I work all the time. Well. And that one is a doer. And this one's a doer. We'll finish it up here. Get her done. Zipper, another screw, and it's that high down there. Measured it, got her. So I'm always using my screw, usually against pieces of wood to show me distances that I gotta be down so I'll be sure I'm hitting wood. Okay, we're through on those, but it won't really matter. They'll be under the cage. So, I'll be back in a second to show you the next step. Okay, so we're back again. So I've attached three junk pieces of wood here, here, and here. And all the thing I'm going to be using that for is my fencing for the walls will go against this, and I'll be able to staple and connect the wood all the way around. So now I'm getting ready to put up a vertical piece on this side and a vertical piece on the other side. And um, this is gonna form my box where we'll be able, they'll be able to go in and get out of the weather and that type of thing. So we're gonna start it off by doing one screw in it. You can see, I don't have enough fingers. 
and if I lay my stuff down, I have a hard time finding it. So my this is how I hold screws. I know it's not good for kidneys to watch, but hey, I hate searching around for things. Okay. Okay, I'll try and hold on to them so they don't roll away on me. So I'm going to put this up here, hold it with one hand, and this is the hard part. Getting this back up here. Over, what we'll do, we'll do it a different way. I'm going to put this slide thing over my screw, bring it all up with this hand. I'm holding it with the drill. I got to drop it down some. Dropping it down, dropping it down, dropping it down. I hope it doesn't fall hit me in the head. And I'm going in one screw. Uh, that's going to be all right. Yeah, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Going back out. I don't like it. Holding things for me is one of the hardest things to do is to hold and screw because I can't pick it up and put the drill right back on the same spot. So my son says I should buy some clamps so that I clamp everything and then drill it. And he's right. So I think, guess I'm going to have to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy me some kind of clamp that I could put this piece up here and get it held just like that while I screw it. That would be helpful. So now we are there. To take it back off again. Put this back on it. Put it back up here. Hold it in place for a second. I got to go up. I got to go up. We had an exciting day today. We went to one of my old tobacco barns on the property and we got some tin to put on a chicken tractor and we found a copperhead laying under one. I surely do hate snakes. And I don't think he was too happy that we were there. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think this board is warped. You can't hardly buy straight wood anymore, I swear, for as much as it costs. Okay, that one's in. Now we're going to the other side. Catch my two screws. I'm only putting one screw in each side. So I'll be back in a little while to show you the next step. Okay, so now we're back. You can see that when we stopped, I had, I had put these side pieces on across here because this is going to be wood from here, here, and here, and then across here. So this would be the area that the rabbit can get into to get out of the weather. We also put some pieces on the side here, uh, like these, this piece here, so we got something to nail to and to, to put things up. And, um, um, and then, let's see, I told you wrong. This is going to be the, yeah, this is going to be the area where the uh, cage is going to be. So the rabbit is going to be uh, in here, all closed up. So um, we're going to lay the wire out now, get the wire stapled down, get the wire cut off so the floor is done. Um, I don't like this wire, but um, boy, I, every time I go to look for wire, nobody has anything. So, um, but uh, we're going to use this wire for now, and then later I may change it to something else. And... Um, We'll come back in a few minutes after I've got it stapled down and cut off, and then we can move to the next step. Okay, so you see the floor is in. We pre-bent the wire for the front part of the cage, and we're going to get it pushed into place here. And I'm going to begin stapling that in place. And, um, and then the next step will be to build the box around the, their safety zone area, and we'll be doing that in a little while. So see you in a few minutes. Okay, so wire's on, and so now I've got some cedar boards that I'm going to line uh, the back area here. It's where they can get out of the wind and the weather and the rain, that kind of stuff. So when we got all that done, we'll come back again. So I'm just going to screw these in.
Mm. I'm gonna match it up with the board. Not, don't, not worried about the one below it, right? Get that on camera? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're doing the interior right now for the four walls and for the uh, private area for the rabbits out of old cedar we had around here. And uh, that did not work. So um, I'm going to get this screwed in here in a second. I cracked that board, but she'll stay. So, that will be here down here in a few minutes with about three more boards. Okay, so we're just finishing up the uh, interior here so that we're ready to... And um, we got it pretty much done now, so the only thing left is to put the ceiling on. And that's pretty easy to put the doors on. I think I'm going to put this in two pieces because sometimes it's hard for me to control the whole cage with the, with the rabbits running around. And this way I can block a door, I have one side, and I'm really easy to, for me to grab a rabbit. So, hi, it's Paul the Blind Farmer. You saw me yesterday, I had finished up the rabbit hutch, it's all under here. Now we're putting the roof on it, because this one's going to sit outside. I'm going to attach hinges in the center so I can open it either way to get into my rabbits. So that's what we're going to do right now. And when I got it finished, we'll be back to show you the hinges on and how it opens up.
There are more screws. Straight up. Keep going. To your left. Okay. Do you feel me? Mm-hmm. Okay. I never get things quite square, but hey, you know when the blind guy did it. I've been blind for almost 55 years, and I've learned a lot about doing things. And I really appreciate friends and my son who's really worked with me and taught me all kinds of stuff. But I lived almost 30 years in a three-piece suit, and I do not want to do that again. Once in a while, things end up almost perfect. Always amazes me. Okay, there's one. Going to the other side. Got way too much stuff in here. Okay. Well, we're back and here we are done. We got the lid hinged in the center so I can get it to either side like that to look at rabbits and or from this side. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I think what I'm going to do is since this was going to sit outside. I got it. If you can see the size is pretty overlapping the edges. It's got the, the, the wire in the bottom to keep brain out. I think uh, what I'm going to do is back here. I'm going to run an eye hook in. A bungee cord down here do it from the front and that will hold everything on i don't have to worry about it falling off with the wind so um we're going to do that another day but boy this worked out beautiful and i thank you very much for watching a blind guy uh, put a rabbit hutch together just realize handicapped people can do anything give them a little assistance teach them a little bit and boy can we do things have a great day